what is up? I wanted to take a, a few minutes to talk about real estate and cash flow because not enough people talk about this huge problem when it comes to real estate and cash flow. Most people get into real estate saying that I want cash flow. That's why you're going to go ahead and, and put up money. You like real estate. It's easy to understand and you understand monthly cash flow. So here's what the average investor will say. Hey, if I get $10,000 a month, you come up with $10,000 a month, I can live off that. I just need enough houses to be able to produce that cash flow. And it makes perfect sense. But here's the, the problem with that. The amount of volume that you need in order to be able to create that amount of cash flow. And people don't necessarily calculate that uh, when they're trying to say, hey, I want to retire and I want real, real estate to be able to take me there. So let's just think about this for a minute. Let's say you're buying property and um, you do very well for yourself. Let's say um, you can comfortably live. You say I can comfortably live off of $10,000 a month. Don't know why, but that's a that's a number I hear a lot. People say, hey, if I had $10,000 in, in monthly income, passive income, I would be able to live off of that. Okay, fine. Let's just go with that number. So let's say you buy a property after you pay principal, interest, taxes, insurance, reserves for capital expenditures, lawn maintenance, et cetera, whatever. Let's say that house is able to give you $200 a month. You know, if you got $200 off of a single family residence, you did okay, right? But let's, let's say that even if you you crush it, right? You're in a great market, you find great deals. And let's say you can move that number to $500 a month. So for every property you get, after you pay all the expenses, after you take care of capital expenses, you know, put away things for roofs, for um, hot water heaters, windows, etc. After you do all that, you still have $500 in monthly cash flow, right? At $10,000 a month, you need 20 houses to get to that number. Now, let's take it a step further and think about this a, a little bit more. If it's 20 houses and the average home that you buy costs you $200,000, depending on your market, that might be a steal or that might be, uh, in some markets, that's even a lot of money. But let's just use it for um, an example purpose here and say it's 200 grand. If you had to put down 20%, just 20%, we're not going to talk about closing costs that go into the property or anything else, just 20% alone for 20 houses at $200,000, you need 800 grand, right? That is, um, make sure my math is right on that, right? You're, you're buying 20 houses at 200,000, you need, that's 400,000, yeah, you need $800,000 in down payments, all right? Just had to check myself, but, Here's the question when you want to invest passively. Where do you get the 800000 from? That's, that's the problem. And what most people don't tell you is that the way they were able to scale their business has not been through cash flow. It's not been one property at a time and the $200 or $500 in monthly cash flow. Most people who have really made a career out of real estate have done so with appreciation. That is the name of the game. So you buy, say you didn't even get to 20 houses, say you only bought five houses, but you got $100,000 of appreciation out of all of them over you know five to 10 years. And now that equity is what could catapult you to be a, a real estate entrepreneur, et cetera. So what I want to, to tell you right now, what I'm trying to, to drive home to you is that you're going to run into that problem if you try to retire off real estate, taking the slow route, which is why I encourage you to do multifamily because multifamily, and I'm talking five units and up, is something that you can buy where the appreciation is already baked into the property. So you already know where you're going to grow your property by an extra hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, one, two, three million dollars once you buy it and you get cash flow while you wait. So you're able to, to um, find comfort in both areas, right? You can say, hey, I am going to be able to get cash flow that's going to help me, but I'm also going to be able to get appreciation. And that appreciation is what's going to drive my career. So if that's helpful for you, 
uh, go ahead and drop a comment below. Tap in. I'm going to be talking about multifamily, multifamily real estate, and how it can help you propel your career in the future. Talk to you soon. Later.